scathing allegations of misconduct and intimidation, and it all centers around the Fairview Police Department. Those findings all came from a months long investigation released late this afternoon, but as our Chris Conti shows us, no criminal charges will be filed. Fairview police are the ones used to writing reports about suspicious activity, but in a report released by the Williamson County Sheriff's Office today, they are the ones being called into question. 19 pages long, this report begins with a disturbing account about Lieutenant Pat Stockdale. Another officer says back in 2006, Stockdale arrested someone on an outstanding warrant and then, quote, ran him into every door jam in the residence, then, quote, pushed the arrestee off of the deck while handcuffed. That officer says Lieutenant Stockdale then lied about what happened. There are accounts of officers intimidating and threatening confidential informants, accounts of an officer using cell phones seized from an arrest to make drug arrangements for other cases. Then there is Ronnie Williams. The former Millersville police chief was hired by Fairview Police in February. One day later, he was arrested by Metro Police in a prostitution sting. The report raises questions about the background check that was done on Ronnie Williams. Several employees made mention of a, quote, situation that blew up after Williams was arrested. Lieutenant Pat Stockdale told Assistant Chief Mark Sutton he was going to speak with the city manager about it and was told, quote, if he did, he would never draw another paycheck from the city of Fairview. But the conclusion by Williamson County DA Kim Helper is there was no evidence to support the prosecution of anyone involved. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Tonight, three officers remain on leave. Mark Sutton, Shane Dunning, and Pat Stockdale.